Hello everyone. This is my first video that I really made uh, for YouTube especially. But um, I decided to make this video because I am nervous as crap about this upcoming surgery. Or I have been nervous as crap. I'm not so nervous now that it's time. You would think it would be the opposite. But I'm going to stop rambling now. So um, originally I injured my, my what I thought was my leg. Um, six years ago before a dance class that I was teaching I uh, had my leg up on a bar and leaned forward and I wasn't quite warmed up and when I went to stretch I just felt my leg kind of let go um, I didn't feel really any pain that I remember I just remember the feeling like something let go inside of my leg um, so uh, the doctors looked at it they told me I'd probably pulled a muscle or torn a muscle there was nothing they could really do I went through physical therapy, finished the physical therapy, nothing had changed. There was still, um, you know, the day after there was pain. So I was in pain um, throughout the physical therapy and thereafter. Um, I have taught dance lessons uh, with my leg hurting like this. And it got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore. I wasn't going to be able to teach dance anymore if I cannot get this fixed. So I went and um, after six years had it MRI'd. Um, the MRI showed nothing because we were MRIing my leg and because um, the pain goes from my groin all the way down and wraps behind my knee. That's it's a big generalized area but um, so the MRI showed nothing. The guy told me there was nothing they could do. But the interesting thing to me was that there was no scar tissue or anything. Um, nothing nothing showed up on the MRI. So I, I knew there was something wrong because obviously I knew I had injured my leg pretty severely uh, if it's still hurting six years later. So I went back to a different doctor. Um, this has all been in, within the past couple months. I went back to a different doctor and I decided um, to see if he could do something. So he decided to do an arthrogram of my hip. That's where you inject the dye. You lay under um, a, an x-ray machine and a needle about, I think it's about this big, goes down into your, your hip and they inject your joint with dye. Um, he definitely was thinking outside of the box by doing the, uh, going for the hip because I, I would have never thought of looking in the hip since I'm having leg pain. Um, the procedure, the arthrogram of the hip should not be painful. It should be uncomfortable but not painful is what I was told. But um, as a redhead, most redheads are um, resistant to local anesthesia. Um, some of them general anesthesia too. I don't seem to have as much problem with that. But um, I felt the needle go into my hip and I felt the dye being injected to into the joint. So. Um, they also, they put numbing stuff in inside the joint as well and that's used as a diagnostic measure. Um, if the pain that you're feeling goes away with that um, injection into the hip, uh, then it pretty much diagnoses the problem. There's a problem either in your joint um, or around the joint. Something is wrong inside of the hip. Um, but usually, if there's no pain when that happens, then afterwards uh, they, they put you through the MRI machine and afterwards um, the MRI should come up positive for some kind of labral tear. Um, I got the call probably the next day, I think, and the MRI came back negative. But the, uh, the pain medication they stuck into my hip or the numbing medication made the pain go away. I had no pain all down my leg. After six years of suffering with pain, I had no pain down my whole leg like I had been having for the entire six years, so I was amazed. The doctor then said that because the pain did go away with that, that um, we could possibly do a diagnostic surgery that would be going in to do a surgery and not knowing exactly what you're looking for. And he said that he probably wouldn't even be willing to do that. But um, I decided not to do it. And then 
Um, about a month later, I, I said, what have I got to lose? I'm not able to dance anymore because I can't use my left leg for anything. I can't lift, lift my leg um, nearly as high as my right one. Um, and that was a problem with the doctors too. They kept saying, well, you have range of motion. Well, have you checked out my, my right leg? I'm a dance teacher. I, I have a lot of range of motion. So I went back, I said, I got nothing to lose. At first he didn't want to do the procedure and then he went ahead and after I talked to him and told him, you know, nothing else is going to help. I'm at a loss. I'm not going to be able to dance anymore. He decided that he would go ahead and do the procedure. The plan for the procedure is to go in there, look for labral tears. Um, also, there's uh, either a, a tendon or a ligament, I'm not sure. Whichever one goes from bone to bone. Um, the one that goes from the top of the femur to the hip bone. He's looking for maybe that to have possibly ruptured. Um, I think if that's the case, they would go ahead and just remove that because they're not, um, studies have shown that they're not really sure if that really does anything past childhood, that, that ligament or tendon or whatever that is. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, I'm nervous about it because I don't know when I wake up, the, my worst fear is that they'll tell me that they didn't find anything. Um, if they don't find anything, what they're going to do is tighten up around the hip joint because they're going to assume that my hip is just too loose and that's where the pain is coming from. I honestly do not think that's the problem, but at this point I've got nothing to lose. I can't, I can't use it. The, the biggest problem um, is that I may come out worse off than I I am now. Um, so right now I can walk. I can I can do a lot of things. If I use my hip too much, I do have the pain going all the way down my leg. Um, if I walk too long, if I try and stretch, it's, it's the worst when I try and stretch. Um, just yeah. Um, <laughs> If I do anything too long, if I, I uh, walk the treadmill too long, um, if I walk through a store too long, I'll get the pain down my leg. Um, I try and uh, kick my leg up in the air for, for if I take Zumba classes, um, I, I feel the pain really, really badly. It almost feels like it's tearing all over again. Um, so my surgery is in the morning. I have to be there at 5 a.m. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated on how this goes. I'm going to be on crutches for at least six weeks. I've never been on crutches before in my life, so I'll let you know how that is too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I, I got for you. Um, my, my surgery is going to be 7 a.m. in the morning. I got to get there at 5, so I'm probably not going to sleep tonight. Um, I have to have people taking care of me because I'm living alone right now. My husband is um, out of the country right now. So, um, it should be very interesting. Uh, I guess I, I'm more nervous about the outcome than anything, not the surgery itself. So, I'll let you guys know how painful it is. Um, uh, if I do a video tomorrow uh, after the surgery, I'm probably going to be pretty drugged up. So, you'll be able to see the difference between me right now with no drugs and me tomorrow with drugs. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's it. So thank you for watching, and um, I hope this helps anybody who might have to go through a diagnostic arthroscopy of their hip. Thank you.